Okay, hello, and welcome to my channel. Um, my name, for the purposes of these videos, is Madam Thanatus. And um, I'm going to start my first video talking about the woodpecker totem. Uh, most specifically, the northern red flicker. Um, which is definitely a personal ally for me, and also a bird that I don't see commonly made videos for, um, and of the information that's available, uh, like through Google and whatnot, there's really not a whole lot of detail in terms of, like, people's personal experiences, um, it's kind of just the repeated Ted Andrews stuff and, um, old mythology, of which is vast and very interesting, actually. Woodpeckers are known throughout every culture, and there's myths far back beyond Romulus and Remus, and um, many, many uh, creation myths feature woodpeckers. Um, in any case, like, so woodpecker in general, like, something, something you'll see repeated a lot, which I can personally verify, is that when you hear them or see them or receive a feather from them, uh, often the message is, listen up. There are usually messages trying to come to you. They are definitely messenger birds. And in many ways, at least I consider them a two-spirit bird. They, um, most of them go from uh, hunting in trees during the summer to hunting on the ground in the fall and winter and stuff because it's a lot easier to get their food and prey items. Um, and also because they are often associated with going uh, in and out of other worlds, they're also considered drummers. Um, they're, they're the, I mean, you know, you hear them drum, drum, drumming on the trees or on your windowsill. I've had a few that when I really needed to hear a message and I wasn't, would literally come and wake me up and be tapping right at my window. And it's a little hard to ignore the drumming of a woodpecker and it's, you know, really digging after what it wants. Um, which is kind of one of the messages of woodpecker also, you know, they're not, they're a very specific bird. They don't just catch whatever is laying out in the open. They literally go for the tastiest morsel that is hidden away underneath the toughest bark or in the deepest parts of the ground. And they have nice long beaks and nice long tongues to get it. And their, their whole body is made for this really deep work, um, which is why they're also often considered uh, the allies or messengers of folks who are healers or shamans or witches or um, medicine workers who really have some deep abilities to get um, to, well, to, to heal or to make war. Um, and the red shafted specifically, like these, these red feathers um, by a lot of tribes were put on uh, war shafts or, um, or alternately worn to denote that they were part of a healing community. It's a very interesting bird and, and this part of why I kind of consider it two-spirit in that um, part of the message that you often receive from this bird is that you can make war. You can. You totally can. You can go and win. But you could also choose to heal instead. Heal yourself, to heal others. Um, and the choice that you make, I mean, it, it's hard to say which one is right or wrong. It really depends on your own personal situation um, and what is going on and what you need to do. Um, either way, this ally will back you up, but make sure that you choose wisely because whatever outcome you get from that, it might not necessarily, you might think that it is the outcome that you want when you start going for it, um, but it might not be in the end what you really wanted. Either way, it usually ends up being what you needed, but um, as a lot of us learned the hard way, you know, like, it's easy to say, oh, don't go and make war, because then you're going to you're gonna have violence, and you're going to have mess, and you're going to have a lot of things to likely regret, but the same can be said of healing. Um, either trying to heal yourself of things that you're not ready for yet, and force yourself through that, or trying to heal another person specifically who is not ready um, for that part of their path. And you can end up in a real codependent situation if you start 
trying to do that for another person who isn't ready. Um, and, and that's a specific message coming to me from Woodpecker because Woodpecker is not an anti-social bird, but they are not, they're not like a flock animal either. They're not, they're not the type of bird that really goes out and socializes. They're pretty solitary other than their, their lover, which is usually monogamous. Um, and they're, I'm fascinated with them because they're one of the few birds um, that really gets romantic with their partners. And, and you know, when a lot of birds with courting are just feathers and colors and being out loud. And woodpeckers in particular are one of the only birds I've ever personally seen that will go and feed, the, the males will go and feed their partners. They will, you know, go and pick up some seeds or worms or bugs and bring it back to their females wherever they're sitting and feed them. They put it from their mouth to the other, to the female's mouth. And, and not because, not necessarily because they're nesting or, or ready to make baby birds or anything like that. They, they just do it because they love their partner. Um, and that's definitely a unique thing. So this is definitely a bird in general, um, that maybe there's some messages coming to you about a significant partnership that you've been thinking about. Um, Either way, it's definitely messages coming to you of all the birds that are out there. I mean, it's, they're all bringing you messages, but this one is often, woodpeckers often specifically about messages. And sometimes uh, can, they can literally mean that somebody is about to knock on your door. Um, or it could be a little more metaphorical, mean somebody's about to call you. Or in some way you're about to have a visitation that maybe you weren't expecting. Um, and you know, because they are birds that are um, that are considered drummers in many traditions, um, it can mean that you need to speak up as much as listen up, and beat your drum. Maybe there's something that you have been wanting to say and have not been saying for whatever reason. It's time. It's time to speak up. It's time to beat that drum. And more importantly, it's time to beat that drum in a way that is authentic to you. I mean, the the saying. Um, dancing to the tune of your own drum or drummer is really fitting with this bird. Um, and it's definitely time to start waking up those parts of you that you've been hiding away um, for trying to be like everybody else or be normal. Because this is definitely a bird that does not mind standing out. I mean, look at this, look at this beautiful feather. I know the camera doesn't show real great, but this is beautiful orange colors. This is, this is from the red shafted flicker. Um, and it's definitely one that I love. I mean, red, definitely one of my favorite colors. Um, and it's, because it, the bird is a little bit eccentric and definitely stands out it's definitely an artist's bird and it's definitely the type of bird that um is bringing you the message that it's time to be joyful um it if you ever hear these birds calling out especially in the summertime you know they have no problem being loud and boisterous and joyful and and just talking back and forth to each other um it's one of my favorite birds to come out and listen to especially um just after sunrise when they are just happy as all get out for all the bugs coming out and the sunshine and jumping back and forth from the trees. Um, and even when they're alone, they're joyful. They'll call out and say, hey, here's bugs. I'm leaving this space. You can come for this. Um, it's definitely also a bird that is not afraid to work hard. I mean, whether it's you know, pounding away through some hard bark and wood or digging up grubs in the ground, they they like a little challenge, you know, and it might be that there's a message coming to you that if there's a challenge in front of you that you've been afraid to take on, um, like for me, taking on these videos has been a challenge I've wanted to take on and have not been ready to push myself to do. And so getting this feather today, I mean, I had the time, I had the space, all I really needed was the push to do it. And, you know, getting this was definitely that just do it. Just do it. Don't be afraid to work hard. Don't be afraid to mess up. Sometimes you gotta drill a few different holes before you find the juicy grub inside of it. But once you do, that's really all you need. Um, now, specifically in terms of the red-shafted flicker, not just woodpeckers, um, 
which is one that has connected with me a lot personally. Um, so I, I, I kind of like to try to get away from the repeated information and go more for personal experiences as much as possible. I think that there's a great value in verifiable information and repeated information, but there's also a great value in personal experience. Um, and for me, like this, the red shafted flicker um, and these feathers often remind me of uh, spiritual friendships and spiritual family, especially those experiences. The last time that I found um, a feather, specifically um, the red shafted flicker feather, I was out with my son, my youngest son, at a festival, and we were taking a moment to just sit and talk, and, and we were just talking about oh, was it one of his favorite things is like ghosts and things like that. And we were talking about that and about drumming and music. And then he said, hey, look, what's that over there? And I could see just the, just the top of the orange thing. And I said, oh, I think I know what that is. And we picked it up and it was a red shafted flicker feather. And we got to talking about how they're drummers, which is something that he aspires to be. Um, and he was just enamored with it. It was a really beautiful moment. Um, and then there's been other moments when um, just after I've seen uh, or picked up a feather like this uh, that I've gotten a call from uh, friends that I've met in various spiritual communities that I maybe hadn't heard from in a long time, or I'll see a message from them on Facebook, or, or just something that reminds me uh, almost always of joyful times with them. Um, on the other side of that, there's because it's a bird of partnership, um, I often also see these feathers when there are moments in my personal relationships when I really need to speak up um, and be authentic and not worry about whether or not I'll be liked for it and not be worried about, I shouldn't say not be worried about, but um, to, to be ready to uphold my boundaries. Woodpeckers are definitely good with personal boundaries. Um, they're also a bird that, I, I want to say that this is just something I've noticed personally, but they tend to usually be associated with people who have clown medicine. Um, in some tribes I know it's called Hayoka medicine, um, or people that also have a strong affinity with things like lightning. Um, I know more traditionally the bird is associated with um, the fire element and summer, uh, the emperor card, Mars, rams, things like that, but I've generally noticed them more so associated with lightning, which you could definitely relate to fire. I mean, if lightning strikes a tree, it's going to be on fire, right? Um, but they're... They're definitely an interesting medicine, and they will make you laugh. Somehow, some way, they will get a message to you um, th that not just brings you joy, but really like brings you genuine laughter. And sometimes, for me, the message from the, the Red Flicker specifically is to stop being so serious about whatever it is that you've got on your mind. Um, life is too short to take things so seriously. And, and I'm definitely getting that, that tingle download message in that. So I think a lot of, of this particular feather for me is that. And I am uh, going through some definite transformations in personal relationships and, and in life in general, um, even taking on doing these videos. And, you know, sometimes as a Capricorn, it is a little hard not to take things too seriously. I think that's definitely an earth sign thing. Um, which is, you know, which is another thing to think about. Woodpeckers are definitely uh, related to the Capricorn sign in that the Capricorn sign is one of the only signs that literally em evolves. Like, you know, it, a lot of people associate it as a uh, sea goat, as like one element. But really, um, if you think about it, the lesson from it is that it is a being or person that starts in the depths of the ocean, like the deepest parts of it. And they evolve. They become a land creature. Uh, so an amphibian, a reptile, a land being, until suddenly they are a goat and they are climbing to the top of the mountain and overlooking that ocean, that depth, um, and carrying with them what they have learned from that. Uh, and the woodpecker is definitely very similar. You know, they carry the things that they learn from the trees to the ground. 
Um, and they go back and forth between both. They don't forget either side, and they're very much about balance and hard work and being a little capricious sometimes. Um, they're also... For me, a lot of times, they're, because it, it's associated with relationships and friendships and spirituality, they're definitely a bird that, for me, reminds me that no matter no matter how alone you might feel physically, like if you're spending a lot of time in solitude or you're, you're, really, you're feeling unloved in any way, they're a bird that comes to remind you you're never alone. Um, whether you want to take that in a wider spiritual sense of, you know, spirit or... Or, or gods and goddesses or, or deities are always around you. Your spirit guides, your allies are always around and with you. Um, you're never alone. And also because it often denotes, you know, somebody's knocking on your door soon, it definitely is one that reminds you that solitude is not necessarily the same as loneliness. And all you have to do sometimes is speak up uh, in order to feel a little bit less lonely. Um, I'm going to say just a couple more things and then we'll shore up this video which has gone on a little bit longer than I meant for it to um, this is also both for me and something that I, that I read consistently that resonates with me is that, that because it often digs up like dormant bugs that are trying to hide away or um, things of that nature it is one that is telling you that it is time to access any latent or dormant abilities that you have been hiding away whether those be creative abilities prophetic abilities um romantic abilities business abilities whatever it is whatever it is that you've been feeling called towards but not quite ready to pursue it is time it's time to work on those or if you've been pursuing it but you know been letting other things become a priority it is time to get into that um, as an example like you know I've been I've been getting so many messages from friends and um, and that were that have been saying you know you should get more into tarot you should get more into astrology that reading you gave me was wonderful um, or you know so much about this and even my own tarot reader and other others that I've seen who are really good with divination have told me that I have really strong latent uh, abilities in this that if I was to pursue them if I was to speak up and listen up that they could provide a more fulfilling path a more joyful path than the ones that I've been trying to pursue um, so you know if you've gotten a woodpecker feather it might be something similar for you they're definitely associated with prophecy they're definitely associated with messages from other worlds and beyond um, they're definitely about pursuing your authenticity uh, which has been a big theme for me uh, over the last couple of years. And definitely I have seen way more of them since I took on that theme of uh, being joyfully authentic. Um, you know, I think really the most important, I think that last bit is really the most important thing. So... If you're seeing uh, northern red flickers, um, well, in general, if you see if you're seeing woodpeckers, it could be downies, reticulate, reticulated, um, striped. There's all sorts of woodpeckers, and generally, they all come with the same message: to stand in your truth. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit scary, but in the end, it will be worth it. And don't be afraid to dig deep. Anyway, so that is going to conclude my video about the woodpecker and specifically the northern red flicker uh, woodpecker totem meaning um, as as I said you know some of the messages coming through uh, could be the ones that I've listed here they could be different uh, the only way that you're going to really know that is by sitting back and uh, really listening and you know one more thing that's this is what I was forgetting is that um, the the flicker feathers red or yellow are very interesting in that you can also get a little extra message from looking at the number of spots that have come on your feather um, there's usually seven across here which is a number of wisdom 
uh, and it's very significant. Make sure that you look into that and see if it's relevant for you. On the underside, it's going to depend on each bird. Um, and on, like on this one, I would count it as three. So one, two, three. And three is a number of balance. So this particular feather, because it came to me, is definitely one that is talking about, you know, wisdom and balance, which as we talked about, you know, they're, they're definitely a bird that because they go between the trees and the ground, they are about that balance between being grounded and flying high. This is one of the reasons they're often associated with uh, shamanic type paths too. In any case, I know I already said that I was going to conclude this video, but now I'm really going to. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in to my first video. Um, the next few I'm going to do are probably going to be tarot readings, but we will see. In any case, thank you so much, and please subscribe if you like this.